Okay, so in this last video, we're going to look at Adobe Flash, the Adobe Flash player. Um, that's, you know, one final thing that may be an issue on certain websites. If you don't have the latest version of the Flash player, you may not be able to view certain parts of the website. Um, or certain parts of the website may appear blank. Um, you know, some functionality in the websites might not work if those websites are written in Flash. So how you upgrade the Adobe Flash player is very simple. You go to the Adobe website, which is adobe.com. Okay, and when the adobe.com website loads, we want to scroll down on the, uh, like the lower right side, pretty much. Now the website changes from time to time. So by the time you watch this video, they may have changed their website, but pretty much any somewhere on the front page of adobe.com, you'll always see the link for uh, Adobe Flash Player. And then, so in this case, it's right here. So we click on Adobe Flash Player. And, and again, this will change from time to time too. They're constantly changing their layout. But the one thing that they'll always do is they'll try to package something else with the Flash Player. Uh, and, and any application can, can do this sometimes when you download stuff online. In this case, they're trying to get you to install the Chrome browser. I'm not going to do that in this example. All I want to do here is install the flash player just by itself with nothing else so you just want to kind of look at what they're you know pushing you and uh, if you want it great but you know we're not here to install chrome we're here to install flash so i'm going to say no i don't want that and then click on install now and then you can come up it comes up with a security prompt you click on run And again, if you don't have administrator access on your computer, you'll have to put in your password. Uh, if you already have administrator access, then you won't have to do that. And then it will come up and initialize and then begin to download and install. So you would say, allow Adobe to install updates recommended. I would definitely do that. But what that will do is it will try to update Adobe Flash automatically. So if a new version comes out later, it will try to install it for you and i think generally that's that's a good idea if you don't want to do that you have a couple other options here but uh, in this case i'm going to say yes i'll go with the recommended uh allow adobe to install updates and click next now depending on the speed of your computer this may take a few minutes to download uh, depending on the speed of your internet connection and your computer so i'll pause the video and come back when this is done okay so now here the the uh, installation is finished so we click on finish And then it will pop up another website and give you a flash animation, I believe. Oh no, it didn't do it. It just wants to sell you something else. Okay, so cancel that. And basically, that's it. So you've just installed the latest version of Flash. So with the with those four videos, that should uh, help you with any problems you have in IE. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good uh, general overview of some of the various types of problems that you may have and how to fix them. So hopefully you found these videos helpful and thanks for watching.